So one of the things we wanted to do in the new museum is to also let blind people experience how large is a big dinosaur and work together with a journalist and blind person Yvonne Scherer, a journalist from the Swiss National Radio. And we came up with the idea of showing it based on the size of the backbones and the tailbones and the neck bones, the so-called vertebrae. And this is some of the smallest one. That's up there where the tail begins. And then you walk a little while. And all of a sudden you're in the middle of the tail where the bones look like this and you can touch them and you can understand, oh, this animal has a long, long, long tail. And then you walk a little bit longer, a bit further, much further actually. And then all of a sudden you add a bone that is enormous. That's one of the backbones from the central part of the animal. And you can see, okay, this is a very large animal and you continue walking and all of a sudden you're at the neck of the animal where we have these possibly the weirdest vertebrae of the animal kingdom um, the sauropod vertebrae with all of their weird crenulations to cut down on weight and you can see how big they are and then you can walk a few more meters and someone will tell you you're now standing under the head of the dinosaur and all of a sudden you walk 13 meters and you realize this is a very very long animal